everyone! So in an attempt to get my life a little more organized, um, I have kind of put together some sort of rough schedule. I've looked into information and downloaded a couple apps uh, that'll help make scheduling posting easier for when I'm off on trips so that way I can post blogs and YouTube videos a little bit more consistently. Because obviously in the past couple months I have racked up quite a few ideas and travel stories and so now I just need to spit them all out at you guys and hopefully you'll enjoy them. The first idea that I've been kind of sitting on is how to survive your first Disney college program. Like I said, I've been sitting on this for quite a few months now, um, but this just seemed like a good time to sit down and do it um, because there are going to be new programs starting for the fall and some of them already did start just recently. So I hope that some of my tips will be able to help you all out a little bit. My first tip is if this is your first time being away from home for a long period of time, then you might want to bring stuff from home with you, bring pictures or little trinkets or something. Um, it'll just make it a little bit easier. Also, if you get homesick really easily, um, then do that. And I actually have a whole video about cures for homesickness that if you click here, then you can watch that. My second tip, drink lots and lots and lots and lots of water. Seriously, I cannot say this enough. And when you get down there, like people will be telling you how important drinking water is and staying hydrated. What happens is, especially like down in Orlando, where it's really humid and it's really hot, you don't realize how dehydrated you're getting until it's too late. I know so many people that have passed out because they were dehydrated and working long hours. And it's really not that hard. Um, they actually will give you a water bottle that you can, you know, clip on to your costume um, so that way you can take it out on stage and be drinking water while you're working. Uh, but definitely stay really hydrated. It'll also, you won't get as tired as fast. Um, it just, it's a good thing to do in general to be healthy and everything, but it's just especially important when you're working, especially outside or, I've been saying especially a lot. Anyway, drink your water. My third tip is to become friends with your coworkers. And this kind of goes for any job, um, but you're going to be spending a lot of time with these people, I mean hours. So even if you're not friends outside of work, at least, you know, be kosher with them, be friendly with them, and you know, it's going to make your work environment a lot more fun. Especially if you really don't care for the role or the area that you got put in, um, your coworkers can really just make or break it pretty much. So definitely I would recommend um, at least you know getting to know and becoming friends with your coworkers. My fourth tip is to spend time with your roommates or your friends or whoever else you meet down in Orlando or Anaheim, whichever program you end up doing. Um, spend time with them because you're only with them for so many months and then when's the next time you're gonna see them I mean you'll probably like go cross-country to visit them or something but these people are going to become your best friends or you're gonna become lifelong friends I still talk almost on a daily basis to some of the people from my program and I wish I talked on a daily basis with other people, um, but it's, you know, it's just the way that life goes. But definitely, you know, spend time with these people. Also, if you're having a rough time, like, they're going through the same thing that you're going through. So they'll be able to help you through it better than, say, a friend that hasn't gone through the program and has no idea what you're experiencing. My fifth tip, as well as spending time with, you know, your coworkers and your roommates and your friends, you need to make some time for yourself. You are going to be surrounded by thousands and thousands of guests every day. Um, and you're gonna have roommates and you know you're always gonna be surrounded by people so it's just a good habit to get into to set a little bit of time for yourself aside um, and just just so that you can kind of have a breather take a little break and you know get a little revamped if you need to some people need this more than others so how much time you set aside totally depends on your personality you know you know you better than anybody else so, you know, just do what you gotta do, but I would highly recommend taking a little time for yourself every once in a while. Um, it just makes you less irritable toward the other people around you. I know I definitely need to do that sometimes. <laughs> Number six is to also make time for fun. You are down there to work, yes, 
but have you not heard of the work hard, play harder? And there's, you, oh, I just, I can't even begin to explain the endless amounts of possibilities of fun that you could have at Disney World. I don't care if you're a guy, if you're a girl, if you're, you know, an older DCP member, or if you're only 18, like, even if you're not all that cracked up on Disney, some of my guy friends that hate Disney still had a blast while they were there because you just gotta know what to do and you gotta go do it. Even if it doesn't mean, you know, going to Disney World, like, get a season pass to Universal, it's right down the road. Make time to have fun by yourself or with your friends or whatever, you know, you're gonna be working a lot of hours, so it's nice to have fun on your spare time and your days off. Number seven. Sleep. This is another one that I can't stress enough. Try to get sleep. Like, during the busy times, the chances of you getting a full night's sleep are slim to none. But at least get a few hours every night. It's just, you're gonna function so much better if you have at least a decent amount of sleep. Um, especially with the long hours and if you have a job where you're standing or walking or um, putting on a show all day. It's just, it's important for your health and I care about you people and just please try to get some sleep. My eighth and final tip is to take advantage of as much as possible. You are only down there for four or seven months depending on which program you did and I promise you like the, I promise you that time is going to just go like that. You're gonna blink and it'll be the end of your program and you'll be getting your Mickey Mouse ears that have the graduation tassel. Something a little like this. Just take advantage of it as much as you possibly can because you're gonna look back at it and these are gonna be some of your favorite memories that you'll always have. And if you don't, if you just kinda sit around and don't do much or don't take advantage of a lot of things and you you're going to regret it. I'll just say that right now. Like, you will regret it. There's some stuff that I regret from my program, and I wish I could redo some things differently. So, take it from my personal experience. Take advantage of as much as you possibly can, because this is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Well, unless you end up doing it two or three more times, but it's just, it's one of those things that you want to look back and have more than enough memories. Those are my eight tips to survive your first Disney College program. If you've done the program before and you have any tips that you want to add, then go ahead and comment them below. Um, and if any of these help you out, then I'd love to know. Uh, I'll also be doing a blog post uh, corresponding with this video, and I'll put a link to that down below. And don't forget to give a thumbs up if you like the video, and subscribe if you haven't. I will be posting videos Hopefully every Sunday or Monday. Um, obviously this one is being posted on Monday. So until next time, bye!